welcome to another fun-filled lesson in English. Today we're going to talk about the environment. What are we going to do today? We're going to do a riddle. We're going to review what we already know about the environment. We're going to learn a little bit about global warming. Then we're going to have a short summary of the lesson and do some fun activities. I'm even going to challenge you at the end. So here we go. What I'm going to need you to do is go get a pencil, some paper. You may want to bring your telephone with you too because you're going to need to look up stuff, maybe. And of course, bring a lot of good spirits. I'll see you in a minute. Are you ready? Here we go. So here's my riddle for you. What three numbers can you add together or multiply together and still get the same answer again? What three numbers can you add together or multiply together, add and multiply, and still get the same answer? The answer will be at the end of the broadcast, so stay with me. Now let's talk. What do we already know about the environment? What do we know about the world? Aside from the fact that the world seems to be riddled with corona right now, the world is actually filled with a lot of other things. In the past two years, you've learned a lot of things. So here's my challenge for you. Can you name all seven continents, six types of weather, five types of recycling, and four adjectives that describe the temperature. I'm going to give you some time to do that, and then I'll be right back. So let's start with the easy ones. The four temperatures are hot, warm, cool, and cold. I'm sure you got those. How about recycling? Do you remember what we recycle? Metal, glass, paper, clothing, and plastic. I'll admit, it took me a while to remember plastic. How about the weather? Cloudy, rainy, sunny, snowy, windy, and the sixth one is stormy. A lot of times we don't remember that one, but it's definitely a part of our weather. And the continents, I put them in alphabetical order for you here, but you could have written them in any order you wanted to. Africa, Antarctica, Asia, Australia, Europe, North America, and South America. So, 
What are the important words we need to remember and we need to understand when we talk about the environment? Obviously, the word environment. The environment is where we live. It's what's around us. It's what we live off of and lives off of us. Global warming, we're going to talk about in a few minutes, so I'm going to skip over that one. Pollution? Pollution is the dirt in the air. We make a lot of pollution with our cars and with the steel stacks. Any of you have been to Khadera, you see all that steam, all that pollution coming out. Not a good thing for our environment. Melt. That's what happens to ice when it gets hot. Extinction. Extinction is when something simply dies out. It no longer exists. And we're going to talk about that in a few minutes. And action. Action is what we need to do in order to prevent. So come with me and let's learn a little. So what do we know already? We know that we're supposed to recycle our trash. We know we're supposed to save water and electricity. And we know we're supposed to keep our parks clean. But why? Has anyone ever explained that to you? I'm gonna do that now. Everything on the earth is called the environment. And this includes everything that's living, like people and animals, and everything that's non-living, like buildings and cars. As I said, it's everything that's around us. Recycling is good for the environment. Recycling means reusing stuff. For example, we recycle bottles and paper. And we recycle so that we don't need to cut down as many trees and we can protect the earth. I don't know if you've thought about that, but trees not only serve to make paper, but the leaves on the trees also clean our air. The earth is getting hotter, and this is what we're talking when you hear that word global warming going around. The earth is getting hotter, and the reason is because the ozone layer around us is getting thinner. It's letting the sun's rays come in, and not all of the sun rays are good for us. That's why we're always told to put on sun tanning lotion and stuff like that. The temperatures are, making, are getting warmer. The weather is getting warmer, and a lot of the warming is due to, that's right, pollution in the air. The pollution in the air means that the, uh, the layer is getting thinner. The thinner the layer, the warmer the weather. The warmer the weather, the hotter it is. And when it's hotter, icebergs are melting. That means the oceans have more water in them. And what happens when there's a lot of water? Less beaches. It's a good thing for the Kinneret if the water level goes up, but not for the seas and the beaches. It also means that there aren't enough areas for animals and plants that need cool weather. As we know, there are animals that like to live in the cold. If there's not enough areas that are cold, they won't have anywhere to live. And this puts them and the plants that like the cool weather as well in danger of extinction. Here's an example, polar bears and penguins. Polar bears and penguins need cold weather. You can see in the picture that they're sitting on ice. What happens if there's not gonna be any ice? They might not be able to live. They might not be able to survive. And what would a world be without cuddly polar bears? and obviously funny looking penguins. But have we also thought about the farming areas? When their farming areas are in hot weather, they dry out. If they dry out, there's less food. If there's less food, food prices go up and people are in danger of not having enough food. We need to do our part. So let's see if you remember. There are 10 words on the next slide that we've either reviewed or learned about. But I've jumbled them. So I'm gonna give you three minutes. How many can you solve in the next three minutes? Are you ready? Let's go.
Okay, so let's see how you did. Number one is action. Number two, animals. Number three, environment. Number four, extinction. Number five, global warming. Number six, melt. Seven, pollution. Eight, recycle. Nine, reuse. And 10, temperature. Those are all words we really need to use and we really need to know what they mean and how to implement them, how to use them. So let's go back to the riddle from the beginning. What three numbers can you add together or multiply together and still get the same answer? You think you got it? I'll tell you. It's one, two, and three. If you add one and two together, you get three. Three and three is six. How about one times two? That's two and two times two is three and that's six. It's the same thing. If you solved it, good for you. And if you didn't, tune into the next ones and you might be able to solve the riddles. So what did we learn today? We learned about the environment and how it works. We learned about a little about global warming and what it means to us. And we learned what we can do to keep the earth healthy. Don't forget, five things that you can do, do your part. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. That's a buzzword we learned when we were in fifth grade, but you know something, I love it anyways. Keep listening and learning, very important. Always remember that there's always newscasts out there and articles to read. Read about them, keep up to date, understand what you can do to help the environment. Number three, conserve water. That's a big thing for us here in Israel. We want the Kinera to go up. We want to be able to have water. We, don't, we want to be able to give water to our plants and our lawns. Number four, plant a tree. I know that sounds really silly, but if you plant a tree, as I said in the beginning, we don't only use trees to make stuff. The leaves on the trees actually clean our air. And number five, and most important if you, th if you ask me, because it's something you can do. Use the bikes, walk places, ask your parents less to take you places. The reason that we use the cars is because we want to get to some places faster. So leave a little bit earlier, but use your bikes, use your legs, healthier, better through your environment. So here's my challenge for you. I want you to make up a chant about the environment, about global warming, and or recycling. You can use all three if you really want to. Write it down, practice it, send it to five friends, and learn it by heart. And then, if you want to, record yourself singing it and send it to me. My email's on the screen. I'm gonna give you 15 minutes to do it, and I hope at the end of the 15 minutes, to start seeing stuff from you. Here we go.
Okay, well, I haven't seen anything in my mail yet, but I'm going to wait. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. I hope you enjoyed yourself. And I hope you join us again for another lesson in English. My name was Karen, and I hope to see you soon.